سنة الثلاثة وثمانين ألف وثلاثة وثمانين في هذه الفترة تمت شراء أو تم شراء البناية التي بدأنا فيها في المركز ثم اتخذنا من هذه البناية التي اشتريناها في البداية مكانا لتعليم الأولاد ولقاء الإخوة والأخوات في هذا المكان في 1985 بدأنا في بداية في بناية المصلى الذي نصلي فيه الآن. في سنة 1986 تم بناء القاعة التي نلتقي فيها لكي نقوم ببعض النشاطات من الاجتماعات من تهيئة طعام في بعض المناسبات وكذلك للأعراس والاجتماعات العامة والمحاضرات ولجميع هذه النشاطات وفي سنة 1987 تم شراء مقبرة حيث أنه لا يوجد مكان لدفن أموات المسلمين في هذه المنطقة وفي سنة 1987 أيضا تم شراء البيت الذي بجانب المركز وفي سنة 1997 تم شراء بناية الوقف المركز يفتح 24 ساعة المركز يعني مكان الصلاة الحقيقة وتؤدى فيها الصلاة لخمس أوقات كذلك صلاة الجمعة طبعا كل أسبوع ونؤدي درس قبل الصلاة أيضا بعدين نقوم بدعوة المحاضرين في العادة بين كل شهر أو شهرين ندعو أحد أحد المحاضرين في ذات الوقت نقدم طعام الإفطار في شهر رمضان كل مساء كذلك نجمع زكاة الصيام من الإخوة المصلين كذلك نجمع هذه الأموال مع بعض أموال الزكاة للمال وندفعه نحن بالنيابة عن البعض من الإخوة الذين يكلفوننا بذلك أيضا نقوم بعملية عقود الزواج والطلاق وحل مشاكل البعض من المتزوجين ومشاكل الأخوة الذين يتعرضون لبعض الخلافات في مواضيع أخرى عامة كذلك نقوم بعملية تكفين تغسيل وتكفين الذين يتوفاهم الله هنا ونقوم بالمراسيم اللازمة لذلك ثم ندعو في بعض الأحيان بعض الأمريكيين لنتحدث لهم عن الإسلام وعن نشاطات المركز وخاصة في الأبن سبتمبر بعد الحوادث التي وقعت في نيويورك وفي واشنطن أيضا نقوم بعملية الصلوات في أيام الأعياد في ذات الوقت يوجد في المركز مكتبة ما شاء الله تحتوي على كثير من الكتب القيمة والمجلدات وبعضها بالإنجليزي والأكثر منها الحقيقة بالعربي ونرجو من الله التوفيق والاستمرار في العمل والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله علي Um, since I've been coming here, I learned more about my religion, and it's affected my life because I know I now know more than I did before I came here. I learned about um, I learned how to pray here. I learned how to give respect to everybody. I started coming to the center when it first opened. It was about 20 years ago. We were, I think, I was about 15 at the time. And we were some of the first students here at the school. It was just a house and a garage on the side. And since then, the Islamic Center has changed a lot. We've expanded and turned the house into classrooms and the garage into the, um, the area for Salah. And uh, we've had a lot of um, growth since then. While I'm sure it would have been a lot harder for me to learn the religion and my Arabic even improved greatly since coming here. Um, my parents taught me when I was younger, but we grew up uh, speaking mostly English, so the center has helped us to 
to become more aware of our religion and the language. And like I said, um, my children probably would have had a harder time if it was just me trying to teach them. And so this has given them um, a great opportunity to learn the religion amongst other Muslims and to learn it the right way and um, to have uh, good role models when learning. I think the Islamic Center should provide like sports teams for the older kids. So we have something to get with athletics. Because this is like usually here, this is where I see my friends. Because during the weekend, I don't see them. Because we all live in different places and they all come here and we'll be here. I started praying more than I used to. I started reading the Quran more than I used to. I learned more surahs and I started knowing how to write Arabic and reading it as well. I got my granddaughter over here. So uh, less than two months, she can read Al-Fatiha and she can mention the, uh, the Arabic Alibati, Alibati. And uh, inshallah, next, next year, I got another gr uh, grandchildren. They're going to be here also. Hi, my name is Angela Aldawi. My daughter Hayat is five years old and comes here to the Islamic school in Pompano. And she's been here for now two months. And when she came, she could speak very little Arabic, read and write, nothing. And in two months now, she's teaching me words and letters and sounds and reading and writing things that we never thought about teaching her. The Islamic school is a wonderful place. So I'd like to say that if, please lend your support to the school in any way, through monetary or volunteer or books, you know, they're always in need of something because this enables your child and your friend's child to be able to carry on your heritage. I wish that there was a full-time school here. Uh, our goal is to teach uh, the students the basics of Islam and good citizenship in, uh, in this country and uh, as well as uh, to, we're trying to teach them Islam as a way of life not just as uh, reading it from the books and once they leave here they do not practice it. It's more interactive with the students. Uh, they use the internet uh, sometimes uh, to uh, polish their pronunciations when it comes to, to reading Quran as well as uh, we follow uh, in a way, it's like a phonics, but it's to teach them the pronunciation and how to read Quran. Uh, currently, we have uh, 140 students, uh, and we have uh, mostly, I would say, about 50-50 uh, boys and girls in the school, and from ages of uh, five years old to 15 years old. Uh, unfortunately, we do not have the facilities at the Islamic Center right now. Uh, we have the pre-K and K in the Islamic Center, and the total number of those uh, two uh, grades are about 34 students, and the rest of them we rented uh, Palm Beno Beach Middle School. في البداية يعني 
كنا نيجي بس يعني في اوقات الصلوات والاعياد وهيك بعدين صرنا يعني نشعر انه في حاجه للمساعده فيعني كنا يعني نساهم في ترتيب انا وكمان الاخت يعني في ترتيب الصفوف وتظبيطها بعدين انا اخذت صف اللي هو كندر جارديك كنت ادرسه سنتين يعني بعدين انقطعت شويه بدراسة عن التدريس بعدين عرفت رجعت صرت ادرس يعني النسوان النساء بحد يعني مضبوط انه في عندهم رغبه كبيره يعني في هذا الشيء وصاروا يعني يشعروا انه يعني قعدتهم في القاعه وهيك انه ما لهاش فائده يعني كويس انهم يستغلوا وفي منهم يعني بيحاولوا انهم يطبقوا الاشياء اللي بيسمعوها حي see that we have come uh, a long way uh, in the past uh, 20 years but as our uh, community continued to grow uh, our needs also continued uh, continue to grow we view our uh, work basically as a mission rather than a profession uh, we live the community life we try to uh, be the heart and the brains for the community uh, we started thinking uh, how can we uh, update our services, how can we improve uh, the existing facilities, which uh, led us uh, basically to uh, uh, start thinking of uh, a new vision uh, for the community. Uh, that is to establish a community center, uh, full facility, full service community center that will function uh, more like the heart of the community to offer comprehensive services uh, that will include educational, social, religious, cultural, uh, uh, youth uh, activities uh, that will provide facilities, for example, a large social hall, uh, for example, uh, an after-school program, for example, a youth uh, program, and sports and uh, picnics and other social events also. Uh, the existing facilities were good at the time uh, this whole movement started 20 years ago. It, it's, it's become almost impossible for us to offer excellent services, good services, uh, without upgrading our facilities. That led us to start looking for uh, a larger uh, location, a larger piece of land uh, to build such a comprehensive Islamic center uh, on it. Uh, by the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we were able to find a five-acre piece of land here in the city of Pamun Beach, not far from where we are, uh, about two or three miles uh, away from here, uh, with the hope uh, that once we complete the purchase of it, uh, that we will be able uh, to start uh, moving from planning and uh, hoping and wishing into actual uh, actual building. I hope that everybody will be part uh, of this uh, blessed movement. This Islamic center has been uh, in the battlefield, as it were, uh, for the last 20 years. I appeal to every Muslim here in South Florida to be part of the Islamic center of, the, of South Florida, uh, to make sure that they uh, help themselves by helping us. We are not simply a mosque. We are not a school, we are a community center. And we are, we want to continue to be a community center, helping to bring our community together, organize it more, make it a better community. Thank you very much. Love.